But we begin with our Karina Chung, who spoke with experts on how to be prepared for it. Karina? Yeah, Jen, I caught up with Director Jeff Young. He's with Franklin County Emergency Management. He says now is the time to start preparing for what you need to stay home during this storm. Now, I also spoke with folks out at Beach Ball to Ace Hardware. They say people are prepping right now. Refilling the shelves, that's what folks at Beachwold Ace Hardware have been doing all week. And we've really seen an uptick in people getting snow shovels, ice melt, um, de-icer. Patrick Moore is the co-owner of Beachwold Ace Hardware. He says customers are searching for a way to melt ice away and stay warm in case of an emergency. All of our generators have already sold out and we can't get anything until next week. So the best thing to do would just be to call around if you need one and see who's still has them in stock. They typically go very fast during these times. Director Jeff Young with Franklin County Emergency Management says those are his big concerns too. You know, we're hopeful that the utility grid stays uh, intact. You know, I think our partners are, are forward leaning and preparing for all of that. Young says people should stay home throughout the storm and avoid going out at all costs. He says people should charge their phones, know where their flashlights are and bundle up. Young says with the holiday season, people should consider packing up outdoor decorations like inflatables, anything that could go airborne. Don't put anything out at risk, blowing on the roadway, um, you know, going airborne, getting into trees, getting into power lines, all of them put us at risk. Moore says they're ready. I think we're pretty prepared, at least for this first initial onslaught. Director Young says lights like these ones should be okay in high wind. You'll just want to make sure that they're pretty secure. Again, those large inflatables, anything that can blow around, you'll want to bring those inside. Local for you, I'm Karina Chung, NBC4.